on the dolphins, you know, the glory. They use that's, that's where the best food is tied up. Another beautiful night. Right. sweet there. I don't think I'd like to make him mad. <laughs> Heaving mine. This is it. This was a life play. All right, good evening everyone. How are you? Good. So, so I am under a little pressure, okay? <laughs> Nikki, you may not recall what you said when you walked up here and started this off. You said it's going to be kind of tough on you, right? So I follow you and two or three other great speakers. And then there's somebody very close to you uh, on the way over that told me, don't mess this up. <laughs> I won't mention any names. Your, your father. <laughs> but he said, don't mess this up. And he, he, I think he said it two or three times. Uh, so there, there is a lot of pressure here. Uh, but but I, uh, I will be brief because we're almost at the moment to uh, do the recognition here and uh, the very important recognition that uh, we've all been waiting for. So not in order not to mess it up, I'm going to follow the script. But uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It, it is absolutely a beautiful evening here in Pearl Harbor, a beautiful evening uh, to recognize your father for all the great things he did. So, it's an honor to be here with you today and to award the Bronze Star to Boats, Boatswain's Mate, Chief Joseph George, for heroic achievement in connection with combat operations on December 7th. I would also admit, for me, it, it's an honor and a privilege to be here and stand before you with members of the greatest generation. Uh, 
to have you on board Arizona once again. It is an honor to stand here with you. While BMC George is receiving this award posthumously, we're privileged and honored to have his daughter, Ms. Joanne Taylor, here with us to accept the award on behalf of her father. Mrs. Taylor, I know you are very proud of your father, so please accept this award on behalf of a grateful nation and a grateful United States Navy. What makes this ceremony even more special, as we've heard through several of the presentations, is the fact that we have three USS Arizona survivors present with us today. Mr. Donald Stratton, Mr. Lauren Bruner, and Mr. Lou Contner. There could be no greater testament to Joe George's heroism than that of the Stratton and Bruner families. Mr. Stratton and Mr. Bruner were two of the six Arizona sailors whose lives BMC George saved on that day of infamy. Gentlemen, you are living witnesses to the wounds that our nation endured on December 7th, 1941. And we are indebted to you and to all the members of the greatest generation for your refusal to accept defeat and your resilience that drove you to fight back, turn the tide of the war, and ultimately secure peace. Thank you for your service and for your continuing efforts to make sure that our nation and our Navy never forgets Pearl Harbor. Chief George's story is a vivid reminder that strength of the U.S. Pacific Fleet has always been and continues to be our people. Indeed, none of what we achieve is possible without the sacrifice of those who serve proudly in times of calm and stand ready to rise up in times of crisis to achieve the extraordinary. With today's ceremony, we honor Bosun's mate, Chief Joseph George, and we cement his rightful legacy among America's greatest heroes. So now the time is here to present the award that we've all been waiting for. So thank you for your attention today, and uh, if you'd join us up here, Mrs. Taylor. Attention to awards. The President of the United States takes pride in presenting the Bronze Star Medal posthumously to Chief Bosun's mate Joseph L. George, United States Navy, for service as set forth in the following. For heroic achievement in connection with combat operations on 7 December 1941, while serving on board USS Vestal AR-4, during the Japanese air raid on Pearl Harbor. Despite extreme danger posed by enemy machine guns, bombs, and torpedoes, Chief, then Bosun's mate second class George, steadfastly maintained his exposed position topside to assist in damage control, control efforts and preparations to get Vestal underway. USS Arizona, which was moored inboard of Vestal, suddenly exploded, devastating that ship and its crew. Intense fires raged aboard Arizona and in the surrounding oil-slicked water and making escape nearly impossible. Several severely burned and stranded USS Arizona crew members hailed Chief George, who immediately tossed them a line, across which they crawled one by one to Vestal. Chief George then assisted Vestal in getting clear of the danger posed by Arizona. Were it not for Chief George's actions, all the Arizona sailors would likely have perished. By his initiative, courage, and devotion to duty, Chief George reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. The V device for valor is authorized. For the President, Honorable Spencer, Secretary of the Navy.
Our have made the World War II veterans, please know that your work to achieve this one last salute to courage proves that you will never be forgotten. These still waters will ripple for eternity in awe of your tireless and unyielding dedication to this great country. On August 15, 1945, my grandfather, stationed in France, wrote a letter to his family that started with these words. Ah, that day. I'm ready. Okay. You want me to answer your question? <laughs> so, so we can just respond, how does it feel to receive the reward for your Oh, dad? okay. So he wants me to ask that. To receive this reward for my father, this medal for my father, is pretty surreal, but it's, it's overwhelming. It's wonderful. It makes me proud. And it makes, and most of all, it, it makes me thrilled to know that my father is being recognized for what he actually did, and he's receiving the medal from the Navy, recognizing that fact. Perfect. That was perfect. Um, and finally, what do you think this award would mean to him? I'm supposed to make him cry. <laughs> That's a hard one. My my father was. I'm not. I I'm not even sure how my father would feel about receiving a medal because he was humble about that. He never talked about it. So my mother would be excited, but my father, on the other hand, you know, he would be the proud that because he was a Navy man and he loved the Navy, and he would be very proud that the Navy recognized him this way. For all the hoopla that goes along with it, that would probably make him feel uncomfortable and, you know, because he wasn't that kind of man that ever sought attention. But he would be proud because he, liked, he loved the Navy. That was perfect. Thank you so much, man. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day.